This video is Steve Saunders fishing the Gloucester Canal. He's part of the Devices match group. And this video will give you some tips how to catch more bream on the Gloucester Canal. Here we are then today at Sol Junction on the Gloucester Canal. Um, not our first choice of place of fishing today. We tried to get to Castle, but there was too many boats, uh, too many cars, sorry, we couldn't find anywhere to park, so we've decided to come up here. Um, you'll notice I'm probably sat on the MPEG. The reason for it, I wanted to try and catch some bream on the pole today. Been up here for the last Wednesday and last Sunday. I had 10 Sunday and two at Slimbridge. Up here with Martin Barrett and Sean and Ian Poley today. Um, we've all had a few bream. We've all since this uh, virus has kicked off, we've uh, and the fishing ban's been lifted. We've come to Gloucester. Um, all in all, started on a feeder, but we always do. Wanted to fish a pole. Only brought one rig. Tried to travel light and everything else, but you know what it is. You uh, you just decide to do something, so I decided to do it. Cupped in four balls at the start on a feeder. Got fed up with cupping it and I've just pulled it in. And if you're going to ask me what grain bait I'm using, I don't really know. It's some red krill, some Fatter's Original and some Fatter's F1. Sweet fish mill. Exactly the same mix as I've used in the feeder. In it, I've put some corn, dead reds, a few casters and a few dead pinkies. Started on a feeder, had a couple of little liners, uh, had one little perch. After an hour, well, I've had, after an hour I've had a perch. In the meantime, I've had five or six bream roll on my pole line, to which I've loose fed casters and sweet corn, and cupped in two or three balls every now and again. About a half hour ago, 40 minutes ago, I had a golden spell where I had a few bream. Started off on blue hydro, I've now got up to white hydro. The reason being is they fight well, they're ready to spawn. Using a two gram sensors flat float. Uh, when I say no, sorry, flat float, pencil float, but it's a new one with a thick body. To 018 to I think I've got on here a 14 to 0, 012 fluorocarbon. One of the new hooks I've managed to get from uh, Sam Wildsmith at Mill Tackle, uh, a Chinty range. They, he swears by them, uses them a lot in Holland. They're a nice wide gape hook and they're really strong even though they're fine. Uh, I haven't had a bite for 10 minutes, which is quite unusual. But I'm quite happy sat here watching buzzards and everything else fly by, watching for a float. So when you get a bite, you can't really miss them. They, they sail away. Caught bream today on all baits, triple red maggot, double sweet corn, single sweet corn, and of course, Stretch's favourite, two red worms tipped with a floral pinky. Let's carry on and catch a few more. I don't know if the camera can pick them up, but you never know what you're going to get with a Gloucester Canal. To see a two carp swimming across. Bring baits on the Gloucester Canal, or on any canal, there's two red worms tipped with a red maggot. I'm a bit renowned for me red worms. Um, get many a phone call. Can I get some red worms? So I seem to have a knack of finding red worms. A lot of people who know me locally will um, not be surprised that I'm fishing corn up here. So I've got a bit of a reputation of fishing corn in strange situations. Um, last year in the Super League, I, I had uh, double figures of chub on a five gram flat float, fishing double corn. I've had a couple of match wins at Barton Farm in the flood, and also chipping them in the Super League practice last year, where I've been getting bitted out with bleak and small fish, even on the worm, getting the worm ragged. I always carry a tin of corn, and I always have a go now and again. And to be honest, over the last season, season and a half, I have had quite a lot of success on it, so don't be surprised to me. Seems to be like the fishing I was brought up on, coming from Bath, we've done a lot of worm fishing years ago, wash grub fishing, as people know me for on the Bristol Avon, where we waited for bites. 
And the thing with corn is, it's like today, I've waited for bites, I've caught on corn. Three guys to my left, all my friends, they ain't caught on anything, they ain't even had a bite on anything, I've had caught on corn on the pole. I've loose fed, probably a quarter of a tin. I've put quite a bit in with my balling mix. So, it does work. The thing I like about corn, it's a visual bait. Especially on a flooded river, it stays on the bottom. I still think fish see it and sit over it. You'll be surprised. Another, t another time I always try corn is obviously in the summer, fishing hemp in tears. I always try a piece of corn every now and again. You'll be surprised at the big roach you catch on a piece of corn. Well, I can't get a bite on it now. All I do is just nick the worm around the head. One habit I got is I always, for some unknown reason, does me in good stead, I always pinch one tail off. Only one, I never pinch two off, I only ever pinch one off. Put two red worms and a red maggot on. Rigs I'm, or the floats I'm using today are census, uh, they're a new range, not sure what mate they are. Well, what, I know what mate they are, they're census, but they're um, not sure what we call them, but they're a new range. Carbon stem, got a nice thick tip on it, because I, I have caught a few on corn and everything else. They're tied to 016, I got a 2 gram and a 1.5. And the 2 gram I've got on, all I've done is black out the tip. Um, people might say, why do I use these floats on the Gloucester Canal? I don't know, but they work. Obviously, they've worked today, so if it works, don't change it, is my uh, philosophy. Let's see if we can catch another one on a piece of corn. the biggest fish of the day, got three red maggots, lovely Gloucester Canal bream. What a brilliant day's fishing I've had on the pole. Not perfect bream conditions, bright, clear, hardly any ripple.
a little bit lucky with the last fish actually come off in the net if only that happens in matches so um yeah if you notice now look i'm actually using a side puller um i've got like a 1.2 mil dan's elastic through the top two set quite springy and then with the side puller i'm just confident of netting almost anything to be honest with you Must be loads out there. Foul up this one. Poor thing's been like obviously attacked by looks of things. We'll put him straight back. 